There's my magician moment. <laughs> Literally, we take air, we circulate it to keep things that create excess of heat in cooling in space. Any one of these three servers and that storage, tell me the difference by looking at it. Any one of these three and that. Those are servers, that storage. This is converged infrastructure at its best. Today, I need a server. There it is. Tomorrow, I need storage. Here it is. We take merchant silicone, lay intellectual property on top of it, and a server becomes a storage head. Left hand, iSCSI storage, right here. X1800, NAS storage here. X9300, really fast NAS storage there. Here we have some performance blocks and a capacity block. All of you that sat from the lady in the green over have a good shot at this. I have 35 disk drives in here, times two for 70. They can be two terabytes, 140 terabytes in, five U.S. space, all controlled by one of these little blades guys down here. I can add a bunch of these up to get 1.6 petabytes of information, that was with a P, of data. This is unstructured data, documents, MPs, uh, pictures, videos, those kind of things. That's what this was designed for. This came off of our Ibrix acquisition. This. That's running live. Oh, um, this? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 35 disk drives. <laughs> and yeah, they're in there. <laughs> Left hand storage. That meets these right here. Here's our D to D technology. HP developed this out of our labs for deduplication, and the really cool thing about this, once it's deduplicated and shrunk, I can move it around, and I can look at the files in it while it's still shrunk. No one else can. Everyone else has to reinflate that data to look at that. So if I'm space constrained, these guys are your best friend. P6000, P6500. So think of EVA, little brother, big brother. If I put five disk shelves, or excuse me, eight disk shelves together, and I lose power, networking, anything happens to a disk shelf, I do not have any disk or data degradation. And there's Jeff, he's giving me the hook, uh-oh. <laughs> These seven servers, this is that 3Com, H3C, <clears throat> HP networking switch that I was talking about. I can take eight of these as long as they're from the same family. So 5800, 5820, 5830, and aggregate them to create virtual switches. If I lose multi-connections and if I lose a connection, everything still runs. If I have these big guys, 1258s, or 12518, we can put up to four of those together in a virtual switch. What we do in the room is we take video, stream it off of this comes to this, it follows that little cable to this switch, into the switch and out, back to the bottom, to the gray, to the projectors. I'll pull cables, I'll pull a storage blade, and I'll power off the switch. When you're watching the video, listening to the movie, you will not see anything. You might get a little flicker, you might get a little glitch, but that's more than enough to let you run it and go. That's not the cool thing. The cool thing is when I plug it back in, and it rebonds and remends itself, and it does it in a matter of seconds, not minutes like the competition. Tipping point here, we covered it out there. Various networking pieces. Superdome. Here. This and that look a lot alike, because they virtually are. I have a crossbar switch across the top, 
extra power supplies to support the crossbar switch and my I.O. I would have this as being A, B, C, and D compartmentalized. A and D would be the same. B and C would be the same, so that I have no single point of failure within that connection. Everyone good? All right. What happened? I just pulled the blade out of a hot box. Did I lose data? No. Did I lose processes? No. As data comes in, it gets mirrored, put in a cache, and it works. If something happens to that debt, it comes back, gets my piece, re-breaks it, re-mirrors it, and does it again. Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Perfect segue, Chris. Thanks. Three par, T-class array. This can handle 40 drives in a single shelf. That's a lot of capacity. 40 discs. They're put on a magazine and they're inverted or connected in vertically. We have between the three uh, basic pieces, the three par, the EVA, the um, X9000 set, we have about 3.3 petabytes of information in here today. So, I'm late, but does anyone have any questions? I'm running out of here. <laughs>